Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about cutlery. That's C-U-T-L-E-R-Y. Cutlery are the items you use for eating. So first of all, talk about a knife. Knife, K-N-I-F-E. Now, the interesting thing about a knife is that you don't hear the K. So it sounds like knife, spelt with an N, but has a K before it. So K-N-I-F-E. And when you have two or more knives, they are knives, K-N-I-V-E-S. So you take out the F and put a V in and an E-S at the end. So a knife and knives. And then we have a steak knife. A steak knife has a very sharp edge for cutting meats like steak, lamb, chicken. So it makes it easier to cut with. So that's a steak knife. S-T-E-A-K. Then we have a fork. F-O-R-K. And if you have more than one fork, forks. So two or more forks, forks, forks. Then we have a spoon. Spoon for desserts uh, or um, spoon for soup, a soup spoon. But a spoon, S-P-O-O-N, spoon or more than one spoons. Just put an S on the end. And a small spoon is called a teaspoon for stirring your tea or your coffee. Teaspoon, one word, T-E-A-S-P-O-O-N, teaspoon. Or more than one, put an S on the end, teaspoons. And finally in the spoon area we have serving spoon for serving your salad, or you might serve some potato. So that's a serving spoon. And serving, S-E-R-V-I-N-G, and then serving spoon, or more than one, serving spoons. And finally, we've got the chopsticks, C H O P. S T I C K S chopsticks, um, which we use in Asia or um, we use in Australia. Uh, chopsticks. So that's a little bit about cutlery. Cutlery is the overall term for all those items, not chopsticks, but uh, for the spoons, forks, and knives. We say, let's set the table with some cutlery. We'll see you again.